application specific and cross application. In application specific, we have seen BI content. We are yet to see the customer generated data sources, which are FISL and COPA. And uh, we have cross application data sources, so we will see that later. And in uh, cross application, we have generic data sources. Uh, there are four types of generic data sources database table, in database view, infocet query, and uh, function module. And uh, we have seen uh, BA content. We have installed the BA content yesterday. That is the similar BI content in BW site for FI, CO, HR, LO cockpit, and other modules. And uh, customer generated or FISL, COPA are the customer generated data sources. So the process for the installation is similar for all the, uh, I mean, all the modules. So here you have to collect the objects and install as we have seen yesterday you have to collect the objects here uh, double click on this and uh, whichever info cube you want you can uh, select the info cube uh, search the info cube and uh, you just have to transfer selections and uh, you have to make sure that uh, your if you want the whole data flow uh, completely you have you have to keep that in uh, in data flow before and afterwards the first of all you have to assign the source system. There is the assignment, source system assignment. You have to click on this and assign the source system. Here we have assigned uh, uh, T9 and you can assign more than one source systems as well. So you, you can assign as many source systems as you want. So the main one is T9 client. So this one we have assigned it and then we have installed it. So here you can see there are uh, different this is the cube we have installed uh, 0 FIAC01 so uh, you have to make sure that uh, I have kept it in uh, data flow before because uh, we can uh, we can install the necessary objects if you want the queries and uh, for example uh, you can see for the install in the install we have simulate install which will be a test I mean before the installation if the test is passed, you can keep it in install and uh, install in foreground or install in background and or uh, install in transport is it will be returned to the transport request as well with the installation. So collection mode we kept in uh, manual so that when you keep manual collection mode, you when you drop the uh, I mean uh, info cube, it will be there and then uh, we will uh, it, uh, the collection won't start unless we click on gather dependent objects. So this is about the uh, business content and uh, we have installed it and uh, uh, after installing that you have to go to modeling and check the data flow. The data flow uh, either it is installed or not all of them they are supposed to be in an active mode so they they are looking active and uh, I mean uh, once they are installed you have to create info packages and load the data. Say we will install, we will uh, say we are loading for uh, 2002. This is the selections. Yeah, I mean, uh, uh, whatever selections are there will appear here, and you have to, I mean, uh, get the, I mean, write the value for the selections. You can see that here you have update in all data targets. Generally, it is the default. And if you want to select one uh, one info cube, for example, only this, you have to select this option and check this. This is our info cube. And the mode is uh, 
a full mode we are updating and we start the info package The data is requested. So you can go to the PSA and check the data. Six thousand seven forty four records are updated to the info cube, and we have to do it for another two uh, data sources. So this is the data. So we'll create another info package for revaluations. Uh, in PSA, for example, if you want to change the uh, data in PSA, you can do that in PSA because uh, here in, in uh, PSA only you can uh, 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 you can edit the data. Generally, there will be a pencil symbol here to edit the data in the PSA or else you can uh, take the I mean the PSA um, table name and you can go to the SC11 you can open the table there in the PSA table and you can change the data targets there I will show you how to do it later that is a simple trick 
you can do that uh, in case uh, you have difficulties uh, changing it here Yes, data was requested and you can go to monitor. the data <coughs> for third data source now we will check the data in uh, cube you can see we have three requests here the tag dc one two and three and the data is updated This is one way of uh, I mean waving the data in the cube. And another way of seeing the data is uh, through list cube. I will show you from list cube now. Here you can see the data is consolidated. This is the I mean uh, main uh, purpose of the cube to consolidate the data, summarize the data, and consolidate the data we will have we will see the su total summarized consolidated and the cleaned up data in the cube so there is the purpose of the cube here you can see we have uh, we have loaded from uh, three data sources and it is all uh, i mean uh, loaded properly and uh, you know because this is a standard business content so it is done in a proper it designed very well so for example if uh, if there is a scenario that uh, you have to design a custom data sources like this then you have to follow some extraction i mean uh, some procedure from the standard uh, business content so that 